So this is the platform we're going to be building. The first thing we're going to build, look at uh, is the user's entity. All these are entities that will be in our database. So first of all, we have the user's entity. And here are some of the functions that will be there. The main function there is user registration. We want user to be able to register. And um, if we, you know, this is a voting platform, an e-voting platform. So we don't want people to be changing their um we don't want people to to vote more than once you understand some people uh, might want to log in again uh register with another uh, uh, email and vote again we don't want registration through email or anything we just want users to use your facebook and uh, so many people just have one facebook account there will be very few people that have one, more than one and would want to um uh, use it you know if you have to register twice with uh, different Facebook accounts you have to use different browsers so we're just making it harder for people to step in and try to you to vote more than once that's why we want to insist that login and sign up will be all social media then next we want to have on um, multiple user levels uh, because there will be admin there will be um, sort sort of moderators then there will be users the people that are making the voting you understand something like that then generally uh, the next thing we want to have is nominations we want people to be able to nominate so um, how do a nomination is simply uh, talking about selecting the people that will be voted for so depending on how you want to organize your own platform the admins might be the one to just enter or the ones to just enter uh, the details of the nominees you understand the people that will be voted for um, otherwise you can build a system like the one we want to build we want users to be able to be the ones to nominate them uh, nominate the people and vote for them you understand then uh, the next thing is we uh, in under the nomination a user will sign in uh, this user could be admin or any other user sign in and um, enter the details of the person they want to nominate hey we want to nominate mr john doe and uh, he's doing xyz business or whatever and this is the reason why we're nominating him something like that they just fill a, a short a short little form and then click submit then um we want one nomination path category because in essence uh let's say in a school department uh, there could be uh, and these are softwares being used in a school student department you will see that there are many categories that people are vying for somebody might be vying for the president of the uh, department somebody else might be vying for the provost the treasurer so we want to create all those categories so you should know that category is a sort of entity but it's not included here because it's not that huge not that important the next thing is um, so we want a user to be able to nominate only one person per category you understand then the next thing is we want nomination nomination must happen during nomination period so we want to give a nomination period let's say uh one week we can say within this day and that day you can log into our platform and nominate anybody you want and something else i didn't include here is that we don't want one person being nominated multiple times so what we, we will do that very intelligently such that if a user is entering the name of the person they want to nominate uh, we're going to use ajax to go and fetch uh the if that name already exists in the database we use ajax to quickly fetch it you understand uh, so that the user will just select instead of filling it up so on uh, the next thing is we want um voting so after the nomination period has expired uh, admin will now select candidates to be voted for you understand after ad admin selects we can say admin should select uh, one two three candidates per category uh, to be voted for we can say three candidates per category admin should select three candidates per category to be voted for and then set nomination and voting period so admin is going to say uh, set which period is for nomination and which period is for voting then um, the voting is going to happen because once the time for voting shows up admin is going to, uh, the system automatically opens up for voting so a user selects user selects category so a user basically logs in 
even if a you it's the same user that nominated it doesn't matter once it's time for voting user essentially logs in uh, sees a candidate to be voted for and clicks on the vote and clicks uh, on the uh, the user first logs in sees a category clicks on the category votes a candidate and that must uh, this voting must happen within the voting period let's say one week period when people have to vote or even one day or six hours period when people have to vote so we're gonna have to add a calendar that monitors this all right then uh, I've already listed the first function of the admin admin selects a candidate out of all the uh, thousands of people that will be nominated or let's say tens of hundreds of people that will be nominated admin has to select the top two or top three per category so what we're going to do is our system will automatically present the, the top three that has the highest number of votes so admin just um, clicks to select them um, once admin selects them so admin sets the nomination and voting period admin also manages users so let's say admin wants to add more admins you understand what i'm saying uh, we're going to call that uh, moderators so admin wants to add more moderators or more people to help manage the platform so admin is going to just go to they will have access to all users and they'll be able to go into any user profile and enable them to become moderators that is basically change their user roles and then admin can even change some details of any user then admin can manage auditing firms uh i just called it on the auditing firm it can be on auditing body sometimes you want a third party party to monitor what is happening so we're going to create an opportunity for that to happen so admin um created a third party and then uh add a person to it you, you understand so um we're gonna have uh, at the end of the day admin wants to be able to export admin and the auditing firm has to be able to export a report as CSV let's say uh, they want to export the list of nominations they're just gonna click it and it will export a CSV or Excel sheet you understand what of the votings yeah the votings uh, can be exported as Excel sheet too so this is a whole lot of work but uh, we're gonna use Laravel and we're gonna cut corners at some point to make it easier for us but generally we'll take it step by step so that you understand the process if you go through this whole process there is nothing in Laravel you won't be able to build again you understand so we'll take it step by step and make sure you understand every little step of the way thank you very much see you in the next video